Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I came across this video of a pocket letter that I made when I first started doing Happy Mail. So this was one of my first videos ever and one of my first pocket letters. So please forgive the lighting and everything else that's wrong with this video. Uh, like I said, this was one of my first ones and I never got around to posting it. So here I am to share it. Um my style has changed so much since this video um there are so many things that i would do or wouldn't do um as i'm watching this but it's so fun to watch and to see how much i've grown and how much i've changed and just how um differently i would do it now i just think it's fun to watch um so anyways i'm basically using all of my maggie holmes stuff and i made two shakers at the top left um and yeah i'm just gonna use some stickers that i had gotten from hobby lobby and michaels and these papers i think it's from cray paper craft market um honestly not sure because i don't think i have that anymore but it's one of like their old old collections so um i think i found it at tuesday morning that's i think that's why i found it, the paper pad um but yeah honestly i'm just using a bunch of stickers from different places and also using these ephemeras that i got from aliexpress from the bloom collection and yeah, I'm just placing everything down to see how I like it. And then um, I glue it all down in the end. This seems to work for me. Um, when I do a pocket letter, I haven't made a pocket letter in quite some time. But this is usually what I do. I just lay down all the papers and I see what I like. Because I like to see it all as a whole. Like I don't, do to, I don't like to do one card at a time because then i won't really know what it looks like all together so this is how i like to do it um but i know some people that do one card at a time and then put it all together i just don't have that talent <laughs> i have to see it all in front of me like this all laid out but yeah i cut out a lot of parts of this video because i struggled <laughs> with this um i literally changed my mind a million times and uh it was just too long i had to cut out a bunch of stuff <laughs> and like i said it was one of my first videos so i did a lot of things out of frame which is so annoying i know um but yeah i just was i just like i didn't know what i was doing i still don't know what i'm doing but i just pretend i do um <laughs> like my computer should not be in the frame like that is so annoying and i don't know and i hate the white background like i don't know maybe it's the lighting but i just don't like how that looks um i really like my table thing paper that i got at hobby lobby it's like a wood grain i don't know if you guys prefer like the white so you can see the contrast more but i really like that wood grain thing anyway so now i'm just adding finishing touches to every card so basically what I do at this point is I add enamel dots and word stickers. So that's why I have my enamel dots there. So I added some to this little swan card and I added a word sticker to that floral one next to it. And um, after I'm um, happy with the cards, I do the finishing touches. And then I just put the cards that I'm done with inside the pockets so I know those are finished with and that I'm happy with them. So that's usually the process that I do when I make pocket letters. And this just really inspired me to make a pocket letter <laughs> uh, because I haven't made one in quite some time. And I love receiving pocket letters because I have like a little binder and I really want to fill it up. So I really love getting pocket letters from my pen pals. Even though it's like not the trend anymore. Um, <laughs> but yeah. I'm thinking also about getting a memory text thing. Because Lily just like totally inspired me. Um, but honestly I don't have space for anything else in my craft room. So I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm just gonna, not going to do it. I don't need it. And yeah. <laughs> Definitely don't need it. 
but it's so cute. I love the cards she's been making and everybody else. Um, all of my pen pals make memory decks cards, although so most of them do. And they just look so cute. But I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna have some self-control for once. Uh, anyways, I'm just blabbering now. So, I'm adding some banners. This one is from the chipboard piece. This is from Bloom, I think. Yeah, so I just cut it in half. And um, I was also going to add this one. Do I add it? I'm not even sure. I think I do, yeah. That is from a sticker sheet from my Recollections, the second banner. So, I think I'm almost done. I'm just li literally adding some finishing touches. And even though this is probably like not really how I would do it now, I really like how it turned out. It looks kind of like vintagey, um, but not really. It's like, I don't know. I really like the colors together. And I love that pocket, that envelope with the ephemera in it. I just love how that looks. Um, so yeah, I think I'm almost done. So then I just disappeared. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to add some washi now. Yeah, I'm going to add some washi to that little thing over there. What's it called? The little flap. I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyway, so then I'm just going to add some ribbon to decorate it. I don't think I knew about tassels back then. Because that would have looked so much cuter with a tassel there. But anyways, um... <laughs> this is just like that stretchy kind of ribbon what's it called i know there's a name for it um yeah i don't know i forgot but yeah i think i'm pretty much done so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you guys soon bye